I'm Bill Monroe. Marty Grossman defeated Matt Zercher for a two-year Presque Valley Town Council term. Grossman will join incumbent Michael Whiting, Stephen Marshall, and Mayor Harvey Skoog, who were elected in the March primary. In a runoff election in Cottonwood, Councilman Tim Malinsky beat Councilwoman Linda Norman. Voters there also passed the permanent base adjustment, also known as Home Rule. Due to dry conditions and warm temperatures, Yavapai County put a fire ban in effect. This ban prohibits all open fires and campfires on private lands. Prescott National Forest officials also put restrictions in place that only allow campfires within developed recreation sites. Smoking is prohibited as well, unless inside an enclosed vehicle. Prescott National Forest firefighters kept the Green Gate fire at five acres. The fire burned on private property near Lynx Lake. Firefighters from the Century Avapai Fire District and the Prescott Fire Department helped keep the blaze from spreading. The Stone Ridge Community Facilities District Board approved a refinancing plan for public improvement bonds. This plan includes $1 million from developer Suncor's bankruptcy settlement, in addition to a $3 million bond deposit. The Prescott City Council discussed a long-term vision for the airport and golf course area. During a budget workshop, Mayor Marlon Kirkendall told Council to give him time to get a committee together to address concerns involving an operation shortfall at Antelope Hills. The Century Avapai Fire District Board and the Prescott Valley Town Council adopted the 2014 tentative budgets. The district's $17 million budget is down 7% from the current year. Final adoption is set for July 16th. Prescott Valley's budget totals more than $62 million down from the current year. Final adoption is set for June 27th. 53-year-old John Willis was arrested for the alleged murder of a 17-year-old Ash Fork boy. The body of Manuel Navias was found in a field off I-40 near Ash Fork on May 17th. Navias apparently died of a single gunshot wound to the back of the head. An ADOT cruise wrapped up repairs on the Hell Canyon Bridge near Paulden. Crews had performed repair work on the 600-foot-long bridge on Highway 89 in March. They had to return to take care of a damaged steel plate on the bridge. I'm Bill Monroe, and that's your KQNA News Week in Review.